Alrighty, welcome to Window Cleaning Resources YouTube channel. Today, I'm just going to show you how to hook up the Zero Pier X2 at the job site. This can also apply to the uh, other Zero Pier as well, just the one with the one RO. The only difference here is you just have two ROs. As far as connections and everything, it's pretty much the same. First, what we're going to do actually, we're going to take our hose and go connect that to the spigot. Okay, so now we'll just grab the zero pier here. Pretty, I would say it's almost 100 pounds, so just be careful when lifting it out. Just with your legs, not your back, depending on what vehicle you have. Okay, then disconnect your wastewater here. I have everything with quick connect fitting too and then connect your water hose to here, okay? And then from there, what we're gonna do is we're going to disconnect this tube from the DI, and we're going to put that into the outlet of the RO. Okay, this would be off. It was already on, it's on there. Next, we'll grab the uh, our hosing for hosing, we're going to use the RHG hose reel. And a part of that hose reel, I have the hose that comes with your zero pier. So this is about 150 feet of hose. This is the hose I would suggest you getting. Along with that, we're also going to grab our fitting for our water fed pole hosing that will go on to the uh, outmost hose of this going to our water fed pole. So take that over to our system. What we're gonna do here is the hose that's here, we're just going to hook this up into the outlet of the DI, right? Now say you didn't have hosing like this and you just had this and you just have your zero tubing, you could just hook this up to here and then hook your zero tubing into there but I like to use this thicker hose, keeps your pressure better. So hook this up to here, make sure it's snug. And then on the uh, hose here, we'll just put this guy. And then we'll unreel this as much as we need it to. I don't need too much right now, because I'm just gonna do this front area. But we have 150 feet here, so I'll unreel it just a little bit. We can now turn our water on. So we'll turn our water source on here. Of course, an important thing to do when running your system is to check the TDS. But when you get your zero pier, you'll get a little TDS meter. You're just simply going to take off the bottom of that, flush those out a little bit. Okay, plug that in right there. Turn the power on and we're at all zeros. Okay, I'll turn my water off for now. And just know you'll have your wastewater coming out. Right over there. And a little bit of kink. Get that out. For a pole today, I'm just going to use the Zero Micro 3K 30 foot high monocarbon fiber pole. And, and we're going to use the Zero Hybrid Brush. Not sure if you guys have ever seen this before. Have a univalve on here to turn my water on and off during the job. All that fancy, fancy stuff. Put that top on. I have the tube running up the pole, of course. That's where I have that on off univalve. Plug that into the rinse bar. Let's go out and connect it to the system. Okay, so we'll unravel our tubing here. Put that right into here. All right. I'll turn that on. And boom, you have water. So that is uh, there's some air. Air will come through your system sometimes, especially because I had the RO open. Some of that might have drained out. But you'll get air for just a little bit. You might see some white air bubbles. Do not be alarmed. That's just air bubbles. It's not soap. So there it is. Duh. That's how you hook up your Zero Pure X2 or your other Zero Pure as well. 
and um, start getting going and cleaning the windows.